Hello my dear students our today's topic is exports and imports of Pakistan it is also a form of trading but between countries exports exports are the goods which are sent out of the country for sale other countries buy them either in their own currency or more usually in US dollar the exporting country can then use this money to buy goods it wants from other countries imports imports are the goods which are brought into the country from overseas they have to be paid for usually in us dollars nowadays countries are also paying in euros balance of payment if a country earns less from exports but it is buying or importing more from other countries then they will have to borrow from richer nations otherwise they will have to manage without some of the luxury imports if the exports are higher than the imports then the figure that shows the difference is called trade surplus and if the imports are higher than exports the figure that shows the difference is called trade deficit the most valuable exports are manufactured goods such as tv set computers aircrafts motor vehicles and machinery second most valuable exports are raw materials such as iron ore and oil the least valuable exports are most agricultural products such as grain raw cotton wool and vegetables pakistan unfortunately does not have many manufactured goods to export but it does have many agricultural products rice fruit fish fish products raw cotton cotton yarn cotton cloth and leather hides are some of the products which pakistan is exporting to the world here are some of many manufactured goods which pakistan exports engineering goods leather products sports goods ready made garments and medical and surgical goods in 2006 pakistan earned 16 billion 145 million us dollars through all its exports of both agricultural products and manufactured goods pakistan has a trade deficit so it has to borrow from richer countries overseas or more importantly from the world bank which is one of the agencies of the united nations In 2007, Pakistan owed nearly 391 billion US dollars in debts. Unfortunately, this money has to be paid back with interest. Pakistan's big 5 exports are cotton, rayon, rice, sports equipment, and carpets. Cotton Pakistan is the fourth largest producer of cotton in the world after the USA, China and India. Cotton is exported in five forms: clothing, cloth, yarn, thread, raw cotton and waste cotton. Rayon. Pakistan's second largest export is rayon. It is also called artificial silk. because it has some of the properties of real silk but is much cheaper the process of making rayon was invented in about 1900 rice one of pakistan's largest grain crop is rice every year 5 million 500000 tons of rice is harvested pakistan grows excellent basmati rice which is highly sought after all over the world its price is much higher than the ordinary rice in 
6 million tons of basmati rice and 2 million tons of other types of rice were exported. Sports Equipment This is Pakistan's fourth largest export item. These sports goods are of high quality and by the world standards relatively cheap because the labor costs are low in Pakistan. Carpets The hardy wool from the tough sheep and goats of the hilly region is ideally suitable for making carpets. Best carpets are homemade in people's home. Imports of Pakistan Grain, pulses, sugar, edible oils, tea, non-electrical machinery, power generating, electrical machinery, petroleum and its products and iron and steel are the main imports of Pakistan. In 2006, Pakistan imported all these items from abroad and paid altogether 28 billion and 51 million point eight US dollars. Many of these items may be grown quite well by our own. And many of these imported items are used to make other export items. Increase in population, rising standards of living and industrialization are the causes of increase in imports. What are invisible exports and imports? There is a lot of wealth flowing into Pakistan which we cannot see or handle. Many Pakistani men are working overseas especially in the oil fields of Saudi Arabia and the UAE or in the USA or UK where the wages are much higher than at home. Other people have businesses or own property abroad and gain profits and rents. They send back some of their money to their families in Pakistan. This money is called invisibles. Now I will give you some tasks. And if you have watched the video carefully, you will be able to do all those tasks. If you haven't watched the video carefully, don't worry. Have a look on all the tasks. Watch the whole lesson again. And then do all the tasks in your notebook.